right guys, I'm gonna show you my glue tissue approach here on these models here. These are my my Nazgold, my, my ring rates that I made for basically free, for pennies. Basically you got an old miniature under here. Don't even know what this was. Uh, and you throw some tissue on it and boom you got a you got a ring wraith. Could be any old miniature, it could be orc, it could be elf, it could be could be anything. So Yeah, these were real quick. I'll show you how to make that. You can you can use this glue tissue for anything, right? It's cheaper than green stuff. Here's an old here's a troll, I'll just threw that on. See what else we got. You can use it for cloth, like here on these uh, Mamaluk guys. I just uh, made those from toys. Those are ten dollar toys off of eBay. Turned them into much better models than what you get from Games Workshop. Even these Herodrim here. These are just Arabian Night guys with some pins and glue tissue for their whatever you call that <laughs> diaper flags. And yeah, so let's go over to the table and I'll show you how to do this. Also, you can do it for much bigger cloth. These are some statue guys. And instead of tissue, I think I used uh, wet wipes. So who knew? You go take a shit one day and all of a sudden, boom, you got miniature supplies. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to show you. I got model railroad people that I put the capes on and these rags and cloths to make them look a little more medieval and like peasants. And normally they come looking like like this, just plain old street clothes, modern day. But, you know, the ladies come out looking real good when you put skirts on them and make them look like little damsels. And the men, you know, well, this guy's got a suit on. But... Now he's got like a poncho, whatever, but good enough. And you know, these guys are uh, good fodder for the battlefield if you want to use as objectives. Or you gotta just have some NPCs running around, whatever. Cheers. Alright, suckas, here we go. Alright, I picked the model here that I'm going to use. This is an old Warhammer Fantasy Chaos guy from way back. But what I like about him is he's got some armored feet that we're going to keep sticking out and some armored hands and arms to keep exposed so we know that there's a kind of a person under there. Uh, I haven't put a weapon on him so let's let's do that. And if you don't know this old trick, in fact, we're going to make a we're going to make him a caveman club. A Nazgul with a caveman club. I think that's pretty freaking funny. All right. So, let's put some glue on here. By the way, always use these small little ones because they're they're cheap as hell, and from the dollar store you can get tons of them, and it, inevitably it always clogs. So why waste your money on a nice glue bottle? It's just going to clog anyways. All right, then this trick is uh, one that I got. So you got your piece you want to put together quickly, and I don't want to waste a lot of time on this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, what is it, baking powder? Okay, you just put that on there. Put the two together and you should have an instant bond with the baking powder and the glue. All right, that's how it's done. This takes hours off your build time. Just blow the excess away and, uh, and you're good to go. This just increases the surface area of the glue real quickly at the base or the bond. All right, so now that we're we got that guy, we're gonna work on him. You can do this with horses, you know. Put a mount guy on there, and then we're gonna do some. We can do uh, some cloth, but I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Or you can do it with action figures. Um, make big statues. You know, you can even slash this guy up, hack him up, put his arms together, put a put a weapon in him. Just go all slaughterhouse on him and cut him up. Any old way. It doesn't matter what it looks like underneath. Like this uh, this guy here. I think he's a, an old Spider-Man or who knows what he is. Captain America. 
And, uh, and even for the weapon, like this is just uh, chipboard. This isn't a real weapon. I just kind of cobbled this together. And uh, yeah. All right, back to this little bastard here. All right, so we need to get our cape going, our robes. So take some PVA glue, get it on plastic so that your doesn't get absorbed into something else. You can throw it away quick. Add a little bit of water. There's no mix ratio here, just whatever, I'd say half and half, no more than half water. Uh, too thick, it's just gonna be hard to work with when it, on the, uh, on the cape, but it doesn't matter. Too thin, just gonna take longer to dry. All right, so you got a puddle. And, just gonna take a piece of tissue. Uh, this is way too big. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of this, but and it doesn't matter if you got little flowers and doilies and stuff. It's okay. You're still, you're still cool. Uh, so for this guy, we can do it. We're gonna do layers. So you, it's not just one one time on. Uh, we're gonna do a few layers here. Let's start with uh, the base layer. And normally I just put a a piece around his head and, and smash his head through a square. So let's cut a square, but maybe not work here. Uh, let's, just cut a, let's just cut a rectangle of some sort. Doesn't really matter. All right, and let's see what happens. If we screw up, we're just gonna start over again. So I just let it throw it in the glue. Use some tweezers to drag it around a bit. All right, we already got a rip, that's okay. I'm just gonna work with it, screw it. The more you mess with this stuff, the worse it comes out. So just go with what you got, all right? Let's just stick it on the back to start. And it's already looking good. Right out of the right out of the gate. You got some natural folds happening. Alright, I'm just gonna let that go right there. No big deal. Alright. Let's just uh, move on. Get some more glue. This stuff gets soaked up quick, so we'll make another layer. This time we need to come in from the front. So let's just do another small piece. And uh, maybe we'll do it at an angle. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a square, it doesn't have to be anything, because it's all gonna get folded up. Sometimes it's better to do rectangles, I mean uh, triangles, so you can get, you can get a bit of uh, corners going on and, and flare, so. Here it goes again, just take the corner, and then we're gonna just drag it in, let it soak in a bit, flip it around. You can do this with your fingers, but it's a little mess here. All right, still a little big. See how big that is? I didn't need that that big. But F it, come around the back, just wrap it and then start pulling it the way you want. Don't worry about getting glue everywhere because it's just gonna dry clear and, and thin itself out. So we got another layer here. Again, not too much. Now, if you wanna create wispy things or like rattiness, just pull or keep messing with it. It'll, it'll get ratty on you the more you pull with it. But we wanna keep his feet exposed. Probably got too much glue there. Pull this fold that way. Hope you can see this. All right. Now, we'll try to work on a, a hood, I guess. Kinda got a hood going already in the back with this corner. Could have made this a hood, but we'll just shove some, we'll just shove this under here. Look, just just keep moving it where you need it. 
pull it through there. We want to just try to cover the cover stuff that makes it look like he's in robes. We could just do more layers if we want. All right, now for hoods, this guy's head is a little obscured, but I usually do a triangle of some sort so that the back corner will be uh, usually like a like this. You can imagine putting it over somebody's head like that, and it looks like a Nazgul kind of kind of hood hoodie. All right, let's see what we can do here. This guy's head is really down. But that's what makes him cool. All right. This is going to be interesting. All right. I'm not going to be able to get that hood through there, so let's just... Let's just shove this. Give me a second here. All right. See, the more you play with it, it kind of gets jacked up, but we want to get a we want to get a point coming off the top for a hood. Some sort of dark hole where his head would be. I know this is looking a little weird, but just hang in there. It always looks bad before it looks good, right? And everything that you paint and do. Alright, well that's not too bad. I guess I'm kind of happy with that. He's big, he's bulky, he's coming at you. Whoop. Alright, so I'm just going to let this dry like that overnight and uh, you, know, you could play with it a little bit if you want to try to make more wispy things corners that are coming up out of nowhere like that um, yeah that's pretty good let's just go with this and see how it turns out tomorrow all right ladies here we are I put the black primer on after he dried. Probably should have let him dry a little longer, but, and uh, it's hard to spray in these little holes and stuff. You can see white in there. So you may need to get in there with a brush and actually fill it in dark black. I just use the primer, the black primer uh, as my base coat. No sense of going back over it again once you got black on there. You can just start working your highlights from there. And uh, if there's something you don't like, you can uh, use a wet, uh, brush and just wet it and hold it and then loosen up you know obviously before you prime it but just loosen up that glue move it and let it re-solidify so anyways he's in good shape I'm not going to show you how to prime or uh, highlight this but basically you want to be very uh, conservative with your highlights as far as doing black and just just the edges look for edges where you can put a little bit of white don't go bonkers with the um, gray because uh, next thing you're gonna have a you know gray cloak here so just less is more with when you're doing black uh, just the highlights and one thing with the tissue is that it does tend to have quite a bit of texture almost too much texture so be careful how you're doing your your highlights okay just a couple other pictures of these guys as you See, now, uh, you know, you can use green stuff if you want. It's a little more expensive. Um, I find it's a little harder to manage when it's real thin because it it tends to uh, just be difficult to deal with. And, of course, it's, it's a little costlier. And then, um, yeah, so, I mean, I would have paid 75 bucks for nine of these little bastards here. Uh, guys in pajamas from Games Workshop. You don't know who's under here. I mean, it could be an orc, an elf, could be your mom, could be anybody. So, uh, yeah, thanks to Hippie Hammer. He uh, is the one who told me to make this, and it's my first video. There's just so much good stuff out there. 
I can't believe uh, this. there's more obvious videos on this. This is an old technique. I don't know where I learned it years ago, but good luck. Cheers.